Good day to you friends and followers, my name is Gray Fox, and welcome back to the channel. Now this is the September 1st update, and the first thing I want to say is, holy crap. <laughs> Thank you guys, because I was aiming for 150 subs by the end of August, and at the time of recording this I have 175, which is absolutely mind-boggling since I started at like, I think, 137? And so that means in a very short period of time I have 38 subs, and that just... Oh, thank you guys so much for subbing and watching. I never expected it to be anywhere near this uh, prolific. And 175 was actually my long-term goal for the end of September. So you guys are ahead of schedule like crazy. That's awesome. And so I want to go ahead and say that maybe we'll set the sub goal for September at 200. I don't know if I'll reach that, but if I do, that's awesome. Thank you guys. Um, it's, it's great to see the channel actually growing. I think we have a really great community here. And so I, I really appreciate that. And for you guys being a part of it and... The comments and all have really been helpful. There's been a couple of trolls and a couple of people that are, you know, just whatever. I don't care. Um, but the rest of you have been fantastic. Thank you so much. And so moving on with the channel, uh, you'll notice that there's a support button now. If it never gets used, it never gets used. That's perfectly fine. Never expected. Always appreciated. What, whatever. But it allows me to tell you guys that there is going to be a lot less ads in your way. And also, there will no longer be those interruption ads. So if you're watching something, you're not going to have that RAV4 commercial pop up or that weird Mormon commercial that pops up in the middle of stuff. Uh, that, that's not going to be a problem anymore. So don't worry about that. Uh, you're not going to be watching a Paragon video and then suddenly there's going to be an ad that pops up in it. It's, it's all going to be one big fluid movement for you and you're not going to get that aggravation. So now uh, we're going to move on to what's going to be going on in this month as well as all the new stuff, Clive Phone. And so first things first, um, there's not going to be any games coming out in September that I'm going to be unboxing. There's not going to be anything new as far as the PS4 goes because the only thing that's really coming out that I think a lot of people are going to be interested in is Destiny. And I don't do Destiny anymore. I am well beyond Destiny. Bungie took all of the money that they're going to get from me. And that's all I'm going to say about that. Next is going to be XCOM 2. And I have been absolutely hyped for XCOM 2. But there's going to be a couple of changes in my plans with XCOM 2, and that will actually be the very last thing I touch on in this, in this particular video, and I'm going to talk to you about why as I go along. And so stay tuned, there's very important XCOM information coming up, and I need your help and your input on that. So, next thing's next. Uh, there's not going to be anything like that. However, there will be more gameplay videos. So there's going to be my playthrough of Uncharted, Metal Gear Solid 5 videos, Deus Ex playthrough... Um, I think I'm going to do at least a video or two on that Ninja Turtles game that came out. Um, of course, there's going to be the Remastered Monday stuff that's going to be coming up still. So there's going to be a lot. There's going to be the streams that come up. So there's, there's going to be a lot of very different videos that will be up, as well as actual playthroughs again. As I've not done as many of those on the channel as I really wanted to do. So now there will be more. Some can, some not. I haven't really figured out how I'm going to do that yet. It's a little hard for me to, to work that out, but I'm going to do what I can. And I think... It's always more enjoyable when you can watch someone's reaction to something than it is to just hear them react to it. So I think that would be a big help for the channel as well. Um, let's see, next is going to be, I think, well, I guess I'll just talk about this right here. I'll show you what I'm talking about. As you can see, this is the new PC, and there will be a video on this explaining what's in here and all that jazz. And this is the case. I'll be doing a review on the case. Um, it is a deep, cool genome. Uh, black and green so please stay tuned and see the the uh, review on that as well okay so with that new pc being built that means there's a whole new plethora of games that are going to be available and one of the games that i was um blessed with from my brother thanks to uh to his great help here and his donation there will be xcom 2 and it'll be for the pc and so i can go ahead and start doing it now and i'm really excited because i want to play it so bad and that means that I will be able to put all of my XCOM stuff into play early. And anybody that wants to play XCOM on the PS4, then they can go about doing that. And if you guys want to name soldiers after me, go for it. I, I'm totally, I totally support that. That's awesome. Also, these are, these are compression gloves in case you're wondering. And so that would be fantastic. I would absolutely love that. And that brings me to the next point of, well, I was going to wait on this, but. I'm all over the place right now. I'm excited. Uh, I want to name soldiers in XCOM after you guys. So let me know what you would like your soldier to be named. And please keep it pretty 
it's uh you know civil like i don't i'm not gonna name your character hugh g rection i was well that's hilarious as that is i'm not gonna do that i would like to name it after your your psn name your real name whatever you want as far as that goes <clears throat> whatever color scheme you'd like the only one that for sure is going to be taken is going to be gray so just a heads up on that so other than that though you guys let me know how you'd like to do that because soldiers are going to die and i'm not going to i'm not going to restart i'm not going to like if something goes wrong that's just going to go wrong unless it's something absolutely stupid and there will be a play that goes wrong i promise so there's gonna be a lot of destruction a lot of craziness and then what i want is for people to tune in and see if their soldier makes it from each episode to each episode does your soldier die and somebody else rise up in their place and if they die you know these are like the memorial for it can i save them can i pull them out of the battlefield in time because i think in this one it offers the ability to drag soldiers out of the battlefield so we'll see how that works and extraction all that jazz it's it's gonna be fantastic so there's that um and i think other than that um I, the last thing that i really need to touch on is um paragon and there's a couple things here and I, I might end up making a few of you mad when i say this and i apologize for um the, the fact that it could make you mad but it's something that i think needs to be said and that is that there will not be very many Paragon videos going up um, this month. It's going to be waning out quite a bit. September was a big Paragon month for me. And now I'm getting to the point where I no longer feel the need to put Paragon up. And it's because I'm becoming bored with it. I'm not big on the PvP system. I'm not competitive like I used to be. I'm not the same type of person that I was when I played competitively when I was younger. And I just don't have that side of me anymore. And... I don't have time for it for one thing i don't have time to get very competitive with paragon and to have time to sit down and go okay this is what builds gonna work for me because i'm gonna get in there and i'm just gonna do this i played it for fun i enjoyed it while i played it um i farmed where i wanted to farm and i still enjoy doing builds because i like the customization the customization system and and the way that i can work with it but at the same time i feel like maybe i've hit a, a, a wall because there's cards that i don't have that i want to use and until I get those cards, there's no point in making videos. And kind of how I felt with Sparrow a little bit, I felt bad about it because I don't have the exact cards I want to use. And so I feel like the build is not 100% right. And when I get those cards, I will definitely post the videos. I will make the builds, I will post them, I will show all of that off. But until I get them, then I don't feel like I can actually make the videos. And that's why a lot of my builds are AI builds. Because it allows people to farm up to get to the cards to be able to do what they want to do and it allows you to keep going with with different people and i think there's a lot of misunderstanding and, and, and miscommunication when it came to my videos as all ai videos they're not meant to be taken super seriously they're meant to just be something where you guys can jump in play against the ai with your friends just for rep and just to get experience to level your character up because it takes a lot of experience to level your character up and ai gives 100 percent experience so it doesn't matter what you're playing you're gonna gain the same amount of experience with it and whether it's pvp or ai and i think that a lot of people are just like oh well, go P pvp you know go do this go do that be competitive it's not me i'm sorry that's just not how i do and then the people are saying well we want to see your builds in pvp no you don't these builds do not work in pvp i did try them in pvp pvp equals slaughter they work fantastic in pve most of the time as you can see with the murdoch builds and all which i love murdoch and with even with Sparrow or the last Chimera build, the, the builds work for that, but they don't work in PvP. And the reason is just because it's a completely different environment and you don't get to be as aggressive. And I'm such an aggressive player that it, it really goes against how I play. And so there's not a lot of point in me showing that off. I'm not going to be able to provide any information to you guys that's useful, that you're going to be able to take away with it and go, okay, this makes me a better player. This guy actually showed me something useful it's been more like this guy just got slaughtered this guy just got killed a lot and it's funny on streams it's great because you can just watch me get murdered but i'm not providing you with any information so there's no point in that and that's why i don't do them so paragon videos there um are gonna be waiting off and then what's actually probably gonna make people angry is the community of paragon has been a hostile one not with people on my channel though because the people that i've met and i've actually played with and the people that that have been on, added to my friends list and that I've talked to have been really great people. You have been really awesome folks, but there's been some in just the open community that I've noticed and just that I've played with in, in groups and such that are very hostile and they're very aggressive and they're very selfish. 
And I hate that. It feels like you see that way more than what you should. And there's been people who have been just super, super um, self-centered. And I, I, I don't enjoy that. It makes me not really want to play it as much. And I can say that there's been a lot of weird kill stealing, and I know that it doesn't matter in AI. So don't. I'm not gonna go off on that. I'm not even gonna. I'm not gonna touch that. Um, so instead, I'm just gonna say that uh, it's been it's been a really weird experience because some of it's been absolutely great, and some of it's been just really really bad. And I want to say that anybody that watches this, anybody that's part of this channel, please just don't be don't be jerks to other people. There, there's no reason if you play super aggressively or you play super seriously, then, you know, that's your thing. I get it. That's cool. But don't be a, an absolute jerk at the same time. And that that doesn't really help anyone out. It's not a good experience. So definitely. And another thing is I get a lot of flack on videos and people are just like, oh, you're not doing this. You're not doing that. Why don't you do this? Why don't you do that? I would do it this way. I would do it that way. I'm going to tell you, if you can do it that way and you want to do it that way, please, by all means, record your gameplay, edit your gameplay, upload your gameplay, get views on your gameplay, and then and then go for it because it's not easy it's not something that's easy to do and everyone plays differently i think and my my videos were designed to just be um guidelines and just to help people who think like i do and which is i guess not very common but just the way that i do things i, I wanted to help other people that that uh, would like to try things the way that i do things so i hope it did i hope it did help some people out and I know that a few people have received it very positively and said, okay, thank you. And that makes it all completely worth it that I've actually been able to help some people out. So thank you guys so much for, for being a part of that as well and for liking the videos and supporting them. That's been, that's been great. And I think that's going to do it for this video. Uh, also, be sure to check out the video. Uh, it's going to be the review on this PC in case. Um, and also, there will be controller videos. I have been slacking on making those and uploading those. I really apologize. I got the Iron Man one up a little while back. And there's several others sitting here that I need to do videos on. A few others that have sold already that I didn't get a chance to do videos on. And I wanted to do that and, and display those a little bit and show those off. I haven't seen other channels really getting into that. There's custom channels and all, but I don't really like the way that a lot of those are made and they're done. And I think they're overly complicated for what they are. So I wanted to do that and to show those off and, and to just give you an idea of kind of what I do in my spare time. So I wanted to kind of just be great with that. All right, guys. Well, that's going to do it for this video. Uh, I hope you guys find it informative and useful and not boring as all balls. And it shows off the, some of the stuff that'll be happening on the channel, as well as just a big thanks to everybody out there. Also, if you guys want to check out something really fun, there will be a stream that happens at some point that's probably going to involve some alcohol and a scary game. Because I don't do scary games usually, and I think there's going to be a horror survival thing coming up very soon. And as big of a, a jump scare kind of person that I am, hopefully it works out well for that. And I'm probably going to be some raging at some point. And I think it's going to be really great fun. So definitely check back with that. And again, remember to keep the XCOM stuff in mind and let me know what you guys want to do. Also, at 200 subs, uh, if I can get to that point, I might do a Q&A. Uh, I was planning on it, but I haven't seen any Qs come up yet for me to A. So <laughs> if you like that, then please comment and let me know. And I think that's going to do it. Thank you guys so much for watching, for subscribing and liking. If there's anything you'd like to see or would like to know, then please comment and let me know. And I will see everybody in the next video. Gray Fox out. Thank you.